Hey everyone. I wanted to to comment on the the better.com CEO Vishal Garg's um, video. It's been doing the rounds. It's been on LinkedIn a lot and loads of, uh, of copies on it on, on YouTube. But it's super interesting, right? Like we've been talking about this for a few years now, culture. To set the context, culture has been the number one thing people are looking for when they're looking for a new job, when they're looking to join a company, when they're talking about the reasons why they want to leave their current firm. I mean, it's so, so critical. Culture is spreading kindness, you know? It's about connection with people. It's about finding out what your people want. Um, it's about asking people, having the self-awareness to care about what people are feeling and thinking and not having a one-size-fits-all model, you know? Have a great culture. Does your new boss give you like a massive workload from day one? Or do they give you a nice present? some flowers ask them ask you like you know how you doing how do you like to work how should we work together you know we're in this together what can i do to make sure that you thrive you know there's some of the things and let me play vishal's uh video because i think it's really interesting and i don't know vishal so no comment on on him um but just probably if you're doing these kind of stuff just take a moment to think about it I come to you with not great news, but we are laying off about 15% of the company. You gotta the be kidding me. Efficiency and performances After and productivity. All we did for the company? If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group being laid off. Your employment here is terminated effective immediately. Wow. So that was from an employee that posted it on, on LinkedIn. Uh, sorry, on YouTube. So crazy stuff, right? And I think, you know, a good lesson there for all of us. And, and Simon Sinek wrote a great quote. Um, and he says, customers will never love a company until the employees love it first, which which I think is such a wonderful quote and, and just sums it all up so beautifully. Um, and so I think for companies, as we enter this, I'm going to say post-pandemic era, although with this new variant, who knows when this post-pandemic era might actually start. But I think there's some, some interesting stuff around companies really needing to build meaningful employee experiences you know, what is it like for your employees to work at your company and make sure they foster connection between people across the organization. So many companies have a generic program for collaboration and, and that's not effective anymore. And some of the some of the best companies that I'm seeing um, and best companies in, in context of this being like companies that people love working for. You know, they have these companies have been able to construct some really interesting, meaningful experiences for their employees. Um, which I think is wonderful, right? So I think just to sum up, companies today have a real opportunity to refresh their cultures. You know, don't miss the opportunity. You know, take a moment, don't rush. Think about it. You know, think about your employees. Think about their experience. Um, think about, you know, if it's, if it's your young person entering the organization, is it what they signed up for? You know, people are at home. Some people want to be, some people don't. Some people love it, some people don't, but people want human contact. And whether that's physical, virtual, whatever, whatever the vibe is, you know, make sure there's a really cool vibe and make sure people are supported. And if it's a young person, you know, imagine if they say in a few years, that was a place I was made in. That leader, you know, that leader set the tone for the rest of my career. Wow, you know, that was super cool. So rethink, let the rethinking begin. Don't hold back. Don't miss the opportunity.